going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one doing another tire test kind of a situation today uh, got the ecto fixed last night we got new uh steering link so no more crazy toe out got it pretty well centered up now which is a first for this thing but since I got that fixed, uh, and the last tire test kind of a situation, well, I guess it would be a time before last, but I tried a set of the uh, RC four-wheel drive pulling tires. They were really short and super wide, and they actually did fairly well on, uh, at least on the loose stuff. I uh, figured I'd give uh, RC four-wheel drive another shot with the 419 uh, Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. Um, another really short tire, but these ones are uh, a lot more narrow. So, being that this is a straight axle rig, pretty sits pretty low to the ground already as is and uh, put a set of 419s on it it's sitting real low to the ground so we'll see if these things can stick to the rocks and pull any decent lines nothing else uh, has changed on the ecto it's Still set up in general E mode, so doesn't have nothing for drag brake. It's not geared down at all, and uh, suspension setup is geared a little more towards some uh, higher speed trailing kind of stuff. But it's not going to stop us from trying to do some crawling. Had to take a break from the Ascent 18 project, waiting on parts. And I've seen a little teaser that I put out there, but working on a new body for that thing. I'm uh, hoping that's going to turn out pretty sweet. I got high hopes for that little thing. After that, it's uh, getting prepped for the Great Lakes Gauntlet coming up next month. So I think the Ecto is going to go back to General E mode since they got the whole bootlegger theme going on up there as well. And then I may. Put the pulling truck project kind of on temporary hold so that I can use those AR-60s and get a, uh, don't really want to call it a rock bouncer or a rock racer, but something to compete on King of the Rocks and maybe Purgatory this year. We were going to participate in the purgatory event last year but we uh got down there kind of late to the party and i don't know that was our first time being there so we didn't really know what all was going on and there was a hell of a line excuses excuses did not end up participating but we watched it it looked like there was some fun to be had there so I think I need to get a kind of a faster rock basher kind of a rig thrown together real quick. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, there's a potential I may end up trying to find another, uh, I don't know, maybe find a roller 
or somebody's broken truck that they're trying to get rid of on the cheap and uh, use that as a base. But we'll see what happens. I'm sure I'll get something thrown together either way. <clears throat> Definitely noticing a lot of uh, ground clearance issues here. But aside from that, it's not doing too shabby. They're, uh, I'm not going to say they're the greatest tires in the world, but they're sticking better than a lot of the other tires I've got. Let's see if they got what it takes to pull this here. This one little section right here is uh, one that'll tell you a lot about a tire and the rig that it, the tire's on. These tires are too small. I can't uh, can't hit it at a sideways angle and pull myself back up. Once this axle bottoms out on the bottom side here, makes it pretty well done for. Might have to bump it up. Yeah. Then drop the passenger side rear off that edge over there. Try to get back over to the left a little more. They got a pretty good uh, pop to them when you go to bump it, that's for sure. Just don't quite have the stick. For this spot. don't think I've got the clearance with straight axles and tiny tires to make it up this side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cliffhanger action there. Holy moly. How come these things don't have that kind of traction when I'm trying to slow crawl? Fight for nothing. For a slow crawl, but boy, you bump this thing. It goes flying. Gee whiz. That's crazy. I don't think I've uh, ever had a rig be that uh, explosive on just a bump. Oh. 
I'm sure it could manage that if I wanted to keep playing the catch a lucky bounce game. So if it won't stick to the mossy concrete, let's see if it can go up the dirt. Ooh. Got a bad habit of letting off at just the wrong time here. Doubt it's got anything for this actual hard line here since it didn't make uh, the last one, but gotta give it a shot. I'm gonna set the camera down so I can swat some bugs while I do this. This will start all the way off to the left side and work our way to the right if we don't make it. There's a few different lines you can take to try to get up this one here. Ooh. Since this thing's got a axial three gear in it now it does not have any overdrive or underdrive and that would definitely help on this climb no way holy crap all right that is a uh humongous win that's crazy normally it's only the four wheel steer rigs that make this climb and that thing shot straight up the middle with four one nines I uh I don't really have any words at the moment I'm kind of speechless I did not expect that in the least See if it can come back down without tumbling. I would be just as surprised with tires this small. There's a couple pretty good drops that when they do drop you're pretty much at vertical. Kind of like that. But man. Even with tiny tires and not being set up optimally to be uh rock crawling this ecto still surprises me to this day well 
This is just an awesome truck. I don't care how you have it set up. Pretty bad. Man, this thing's awesome. Since this thing surprised me a couple times already, we may as well try the impossible here. Um, I, I know that the majority of people have already clicked off of this video, but if, if you're still here and you haven't uh, seen other videos with this Ecto, I'm just gonna throw this out here. It's nothing special. This is still even though I've got, you know, brass on the front axle uh, and a different transmission, which transmission is hurting performance, not helping it in situations like this. This is still mostly stock. Um, the only thing that's not stock as far as the chassis goes, um, I've built my own uh, shock towers out of aluminum. You just can't really see that one, but uh, the stock ones were kind of flimsy and I didn't want to pay a bunch of money for something that I could easily build. So I've got shock towers and some brass on the front. Everything else is stock stock everything internal axle wise stock shocks um stock rear suspension it's even got the stock sway bar back on it now i this is still in my opinion the best rtr rock crawler out there at least out of everything that i've had my hands on anyways um it does not take much at all for this thing to be just an absolutely awesome rig. Now, don't let the uh, performance or lack of performance on this particular obstacle uh, sway your opinion any because this is just a ridiculous obstacle. This one, depending on what day it is and what rig you got and the humidity and any kind of luck you're bringing up to the pit here. I've got my most capable rigs don't make this one every time. We're gonna skip out on that regardless. What I was getting at was, you can't beat an Ecto. These things are freaking awesome. They do things that most other rigs in their uh, weight class won't do. Like, stay planted on that line right there. 
That is a rough transition. Just stuck it. These tires are doing a lot better than I figured they would as well. This might actually be a pretty good combo, surprisingly. I figured these probably wouldn't do very well being on a low straight axle rig, but they're definitely holding their own. This here's another climb where uh, having straight axles and small tires is definitely going to hurt. There's a lot of uh, diff hangers and belly hangers here on this one. Definitely got to uh, put a little extra throttle into it just because of uh, the no ground clearance situation. As long as you get that timing right. Look okay. out. That is coming through. This transition here. If he had never seen it before, it doesn't look like much, but you basically got to float over this giant open area here, and it definitely favors portals and big tires. Four-wheel steer definitely helps as well. Too soon. shot well, looks like we're about to get some rain starting to feel some sprinkles and it's getting a little darker out here so probably gonna have to wrap this one up here thoroughly impressed this thing is uh Definitely hitting above at least the weight class that I thought it was going to be in with these. I doubt it's got a chance in hell at pulling this ramp here, but we're going to try it anyways. Mm. Nope. So the deal with this guy here is this one this thing's not quite wide enough even with those hex extensions on it but this corner right here once you uh crest 
the top of it. It'll catch a slider or a link or anything unless you have it lined up perfectly. And even when you have it lined up perfectly, it digs in and it'll throw you off. So that one's a rough one regardless. And then it's hard to drive up that and get lined up perfectly. So not going to hold that against it. Just had to see. But yeah. RC four wheel drive, Mickey Thompson, Baja Claws in the 419 flavor. Not too shabby. And I'm sure that they would do better on some real grippy rock elsewhere, but most of what I got around here is either uh, mossy old concrete or mostly river rock that's pretty slippery so it takes a very grippy tire to do well up here but these didn't do bad so i think we'll call it for today i'll uh call that a success king's got a smaller pair of shoes in his arsenal now you know, pretty good confidence in these might have to take them with me down to the quarry the next time I go and run them on here. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, hope you stick around. Should have uh, something interesting and or entertaining potentially for the next uh, video. It, it'll be something new. We've never tried uh at least on this channel before so that could end in a ball of flames we'll see but thanks for watching i hope y'all have a good one catch you in the next one later